one of these high-powered programs could be the next Pac-10 champion. 12th ranked USC has the third best defense in the nation. 5th ranked Oregon has the second best total offense in the nation. Let's right through attack. USC and Oregon, Trojan pride versus duck power. 12th ranked USC, 5th ranked Oregon, next. It is the most anticipated game in a 41 year history of Austin Stadium here on the campus of the University of Oregon in Eugene. The Oregon Ducks, they feel they've got a statement to make today. USC, they feel they have something to prove as well. That's what makes it on this Kyocera College Football Saturday as the USC Trojans come calling on the deep man for Oregon. Stewart normally is on the deep team to return, but because he's going to carry so much of a load with Jeremiah Johnson out, he will not return kicks today. This is Crenshaw, four-yard line. Crenshaw fumbles. SC has it. Just like that. Well, there is a start, of course, that Oregon absolutely did not want, and Mike Bellotti and everybody else talking about the fact they must take care of the 20. Just a three-man rush and a screen this time. Plenty of room for McKnight at the 20, trying to get outside 15, and he's going to be just short of the first down at about the 13-yard line. Big pickup of about 17. Walter th empty backfield. Give to McKnight. And McKnight is going to be stopped short. John Bacon makes the call. They brought McKnight on the reverse off the wing, and he is stopped short of the first down. Listen to that crowd, Barry. Big time play where the ball is going. Third down and nine. Dixon straight back this time. Has time. Now he's going to run. He's got room. Gets a good block to the 20. First down and out of bounds. Jonathan Stewart gave him a great block. He put a big hit on Ray Malaluga. He's out of bounds with a first down. At the 25-yard line. Dixon this time. Going to go up. Now he reverses his field. He can run again. He will with a 30. Gets down. Close to another first down. Maybe about a half yard short at the 34-yard line. Dixon. He's got all day to throw it. Now he does. And the ball is caught for a first down. going to be Aaron Flugel's line that the Ducks have. Dixon straight back. Now he'll tuck it away and run. He'll get to the 40, inside the 40 to the 38, close to another Oregon first down. Keith Rivers. On this all day, and USC's defense is getting tired. Third down and three. They're giving it to Stewart. Stewart, first down and more. Lip legs up. SC defender takes it all the way to the 11. Great effort by Stewart. Other guys in, and they get confidence because there's open space for them to run it. Stewart back in the ball game. This is Stewart inside the five, down about the three yard line. What a guy to the two. I'll tell you, there's not a lot of room in it because they don't hunt. And this time, straight up the middle into the end zone goes Dixon. Sanchez gave to Washington, got a gap across the 30 to about the 32, maybe the 33 yard line. Pickup of about seven. Back to pass this time in trouble, and down goes Sanchez. And blowing in was Jerome Boyd. Third and long. Third and 23. And the game is to McKnight again, and McKnight gets a little room. Across the 30 to about the 32 yard line. He got a little bit of it back. Let's go down to the sideline once more. Jim Watson, this 140. I had it on on that last sack of Mark Sanchez. These guys are pegging out at about 112 right now. And let's see if somebody touched this football. This could be USC's ball, and it is. What a break. That's the second special teams turnover. This afternoon, Miles, who only has one first down so far in this game, can capitalize. 
Give us to Washington. Washington gets a gap. Running over people down close to the 10 yard line. They'll mark it inside the 12. It'll be second down. Straight back to Sanchez. Deep drop. In trouble. Has to step up. Looks to the end zone and throws it. Knocked away. Patrick Turner might have made the catch, but he was out of bounds. It is on its way and it is good. So USC on the board and with 10 27. Dixon going to throw over the middle. Got a man caught by Dixon. Dixon all the way to the 41 yard line. Making the 46. Dixon to Stewart. Stewart outside and he'll get the first down. All on individual effort. Inside the 40 yard line. Blitz comes this time. They pick it up. Dixon with all day open in the middle of the field is Flugrad. First down. It was Stewart. Outs. They come with the blitz again. Dixon had to unload early. And Dixon that time had to throw the ball a little bit earlier than he wanted to. He tried the field goal. It'll be a 41 yarder. He's got plenty on it. And it is good. Very solid football on both sides. Two tight ends. Sanchez, late blitz comes. Sanchez throws, got a man wide open as Turner. First down into Oregon territory at the 38-yard line. Walter. This is Johnson. And Johnson will be stopped well short at the 32-yard line. And so from here, if you think it feels and a flag falls, and I think that's going to be a freebie. Catch is made for a first down by Turner, and I'm quite sure one of the Ducks came across. And I think it was Nick Reed who got across the neutral zone. Hazleton goes in motion. Sanchez deep drop. Going for the end zone. Jump ball, touchdown! Patrick Turner! Glasper doing what he could, but Turner, a big target at 6-5, came down with the ball, and what a fact. The football and pull it down. Drive for point is up and good, and just like that, we are tied at 10. 10-50. He's a senior out of Pacific Palisades, California, 340 pounds. Here's Stewart for the first down and more to the 40-yard line, dishing out punishment. Kerry Harris, a couple of drops. Put it up right here, and now he's in trouble. Scrambling. Now he's going to throw it away. Got outside the box, threw it away. Heady move by Dixon, but it's going to be fourth down. Great job by the U.S. This time, Havili stays on as the lone center. And this is Havili, and Havili, I believe, is going to get the first down. And the ball might be loose in there. Oregon is saying they have it. No call from the officials. This will be a huge sequence if, in fact, it is ruled a fumble. I wouldn't want to be on the bottom there, Barry. That could be ugly. Oregon ball! And this crowd is right back in it. Great opportunity for the Ducks to go ahead now with the turnover. The Trojans trying to catch Oregon off guard, getting quick to the line of scrimmage, trying to hit that fullback right away. 16 yard line. Stewart again with a big gap to the five, to the four, touchdown! is Evenson. 17 to 10 Ducks. 525 left third quarter. Sanchez steps up, throws, catch made by Turner, first down. And Turner has come up with three huge catches here in the second half. The left. Mabili comes to the near side again, straight back goes Sanchez. Throws wide open Davis in the middle of the field, first down. Sanchez finding receivers wide open on crucial downs, found down at the 38-yard line of Oregon. 
Straight ahead is Washington into the secondary inside the 30. About a yard short of a first down. Pick up a nine. John Bacon on the tackle. Trojans moving the ball almost at will right now. And Sanchez is going to go up. Steps up. Throws. Intercepted. Picked off by Harper. Harper still on his feet at the 30. Steps outside 35. At the 40, looking for a block and caught from behind at the 42-yard line by Ronald Johnson. Huge play. And just when the youngster looks very... Back behind Dixon. Pump fake this time. Now Dixon throws and wide open for the catch and a big gainer is Flugrad. Flugrad still on his feet to the 30-yard line. of Stewart is unreal. There's Flugard again on the swing pass. He'll get it down about the 11-yard line. Only a game of about two. Kevin Ellison makes the stop. Actually, that was the last time they bring Williams to the near side. Two wide outs to the long side of the field. Third and six, big play. Dixon straight back. Now he steps up. He'll run. He's got more. Ten, five, first down at the three-yard line. Dixon to Stewart to the end zone. Touchdown, Ducks. The Ducks overcame their two turnovers and special team distance between them and the Trojans. Try for point is up and good. It's a 24 to 7 lead. Second down and 10. Deep drop this time. Sanchez steps up. Rifles caught by Hazelton at the 33-yard line. Patrick Chung makes the stop. Good throw. It's got to happen fast. Desmond Reed is the tailback. Short drop. Now Sanchez looking deep. Throws for Hazelton. Makes the catch. I thought Hazelton got away with a push-off, to tell you the truth. Don't go anywhere yet. Ball at the 38-yard line. Sanchez with all day to throw it over the middle caught by Turner first down at the 14 yard line Sanchez delivered just inside the 15 Sanchez throws for the end zone to Osbury he's got it touchdown Trojans flag down but I think that's going to be interference against Oregon Osbury a very big receiver 6'4 225 redshirt freshman out of Labor, California, for straight great balls for Mark Sanchez. 85 yards in 48 seconds, and just like that, it is a seven-point ball game. Trojans have two timeouts. Oregon only has one timeout remaining. Dixon going to throw. Blitz comes. Dixon throws. Incomplete off the hands of Williams. Fair Sanchez straight back steps up throws Hazelton has it cracked as he gets the 47 yard line but he hangs on third down three man rush for the Ducks Sanchez throws to McKnight he's got the first down and now let's see what the Trojans do they can hurry to the line of scrimmage McKnight lit Sanchez straight back again with time throws over the middle Accepted. Harper has another one. Harper at the 40. Harper steps out of bounds, and this game, for all intent, is over. One of the oldest rules in quarterbacking, they tell you, don't throw the ball late over the middle. Sanchez waiting a little too long, maybe a little too confident in that strong arm. Tries to job coming up with those turnovers, Barry. Absolutely. And I think that's what's going to be talked about nationally is about their defense. This time it is over. Trojans can't stop the clock. Student section pouring onto the field. And there is joy reigning supreme here at Autzen Stadium. No question about it. Oregon is still very relevant now in the national race and the BCS race. Oregon is still a team to beat nationally and a team to watch. USC. Now, the best they can really hope for is the Holiday Bowl because the way the Pac-10 is beating itself.
itself up. It doesn't look like they are going to get two teams in that BCS. I'm sure Arizona State is watching this game very closely. Should they have their way with Cal today, which is going to be easier said than done. You'll see that game tonight at 7 o'clock here on, on FSN. But uh, they come up here to play Oregon next week. Great win for the Oregon Ducks. They win it 24-17 over USC. Let's go to the studio and Mike Goldberg.